Okay, uh, the plywood is now cut into the four foot circle. And we have two, you should be able to see these, there's two lines from the previous step that we drew. Now if for some reason you didn't draw these lines, you can put this template that we made back on here like this and you can simply get this make sure it's pushed down in the middle and then you can just take it and redraw the lines. That's the outer line and this is the second line on the inside. All right. So now you have these other two lines. The other one's been cut off since the circle was made. And we don't need this now. Now, the next thing we got to do is we need to make these pieces. These two pieces. Let me see if I can show them better. All right. We're going to need 16 of these pieces, 16 of these pieces. These are inch and a half by three quarter thick. 7 8 by 3 quarter thick. Now you're going to have to cut these out. The easiest way to cut these is on a band saw rather than the saw like I showed you previously. But if that's all you have, then you have to mount the wood. And right now we're going to make a template so that you can make these because you won't have the template for this. And the way we're going to do this, we've got to make a template. We can draw these on, a, on another piece of, oh, I don't know, 1 by 10 pine. By the way, this is uh, clear pine. There's no knots. Don't use anything with knots because that would weaken the uh, entire wheel. So now, just take a piece of scrap right here. I have a piece of quarter-inch scrap that I had laying around. Make sure it's over 20 inches long maybe a six inches wide then just find any place on here on the wheel just to to mount it like this now let me get a better picture now all you have to do is just that doesn't really matter just take a couple of clamps to hold it so it doesn't move on you put a clamp here and then you know another clamp uh, anywhere here, anywhere around. Just don't let it go off the edge of the wheel and just clamp it pretty much anywhere. Alright, now take the tool that we had before or I should say the template and then what you want to do is you want to cut the very outer section well actually the clamp's in the way here and you just move it All right, what we got to do, eh, you got to get it out a little more. Well, in any anyhow, you got the idea of that. So, we, we want to draw these three lines again, like we did originally. So, once this is put in the center, like that, you draw the outer line on this scrap piece, like this. Whatever way you have a scrap, 20 inches long, whatever, then move this in and draw the second line. Don't let this part move. Draw the second line. Just like that. It's dark enough to see. 20, 21 inch wide board. Okay? Now, this is going to be the template for this piece which when this is cut out you're going to cut this piece out of this scrap all right now we got to do the same thing for the wide piece so you can go ahead and cut this out and then what you're going to need is another piece of scrap which um, Actually, we might be able to use the same piece. But anyhow, you need another piece to do the exact same thing. Um, although, wait a minute, before you do that, take this from one end of this 
and then uh, what you want to do is put a line across across this a line just to show the cut point and then what you got to do is bring this back so that the curved piece on this template I happen to have this template made right here so you want another line I can tell you in just a second you need the next line so that it's approximately eh, about 18 inches roughly it doesn't matter we're going to trim this later so you bring that up to about 18 inches and draw another line all right, so now you got a piece a little larger than what I have here, which you can trim later. Actually, it's probably almost perfect. 18 inches. If you go a little more, and, and this way you won't run out later on when you put this together. If you make them a little longer, you can just trim them to fit. You'll see as you go along. But you'll have the template in case you have to make a new one. Now... You got to get another piece of this scrap plywood. This is done. Now what you're going to cut out is just this piece, which is roughly 18 or a little more. This is about 7 eighths wide. And when you use, when you put this template on there, it'll, it'll fit the uh, three-quarter board. So now you got to do the same thing with another piece of plywood. But I'll just turn this one over just so make it a little faster, easier. It's going to be the same thing. You get another piece, so you can end up with this piece and then this wider piece. So now you got to take the, this template here that we made. You draw the outer line first, whatever it takes. Longer than you need, it doesn't matter. Take it out and put it into the inner hole and draw the same line. So now what you have is the width of this wider piece, which is an inch and a half, and then it'll be three quarters of an inch thick. And this piece, the same thing. You'll have these pieces to go by once you do it, and I believe this one's probably, uh, you can make this one 18 inches too. Even if it's bigger than you need, you can trim it as you go. So roughly 18 inches, you use this to get the right angle. So you mark it. Then you go across on the inside, 18 inches. From inside to inside. It's basically to get this angle. And then the same thing, you draw the mark. And now you've got your inner piece, which once you cut out, will be roughly like that and you can always trim this off as you put this together later on. But I can tell you now this piece end to end on the inside is 17 and a quarter if you want to write that down. 17 and a quarter and the inside of the skinnier piece is roughly 17 and 5 eighths. You always want it a little bigger because you can always cut it off, but you can't add. Well, you could add, but you'd have to glue it. All right, so now you take these two pieces that, on the two pieces of plywood here. The outside and then has gone down all you to have to do is cut these two templates out. Uh, and then you'll end up with something like this. Now, you're going to use the templates that you made from the scrap pieces of wood. We'll assume these are the uh, templates. Let me get a piece of wood. Usually a 1 by 10 clear pine uh, board will be the best for you. You'll get the most out of it. 
So you take the piece you're going to make this out of. And now we got to go ahead. we got to have 16 of these. 16 of these. And we'll call these the templates because I didn't cut from this scrap. you got to make two templates. So what you got to do is you take this on the wood that you're going to use. Just take, draw the line, and draw the line. Don't let it move on you. This has to be as accurate as you possibly can get it. This is going to be how accurate the wheel is going to be in uh, circumference. So now here's your, your pieces. You have to cut 16 of these and hand sand them just to get the rough edge off after you cut them. So on this particular board I can get one and I can get two. This is only like a five inch board so I can get two of these here. But a one by ten you'll be able to get uh, I believe about three or no possibly four. And you need a total amount of these of sixteen. And then it's the same thing. We'll say we get another board that you're going to use. And you do the same thing with the smaller template. Make 16 of these. Be sure it don't move on you. It's this radius has to be as close as you possibly can get it. Take your time. Do not rush. If you, if you don't have a band, a bandsaw would make cutting these much easier. Because you can, you know, you have a table. But if you use a handsaw, you got to clamp the wood down and uh, put the template on, draw it, and then you'll have to hand cut it and sand it. But you got to match them to the template. They have to be as close as possible. If this is not very accurate, the wheel is going to be kind of lump, not lumpy, but you're going to see it's no longer round. It'll have spots in it. It'll never be perfect, but you want it as close as you can get it. So that's about it. Once you cut the 16 pieces of this, the 16 pieces of this, and on the next part, we'll start to assemble the round part, outside part of the wheel.